So welcome back to another vlog. I just got off the phone with my mom and we have come to the conclusion that I think my toe was broken. <laughs> but it's okay. We're just gonna carry on and it's all good. But if you missed the last vlog, I guess I can fill you in. So I was walking into my hot Pilates class and I kicked a weight and that's how I broke it. You'll just have to watch the other video if you want all the details and to be caught up. But I also got a VI peel and my skin is starting to purge. I haven't um, had any peeling yet because I just got it yesterday. For breakfast today and I haven't made this for a while but it takes kind of a while to cook so I want to get it in the oven pretty soon I screenshotted the recipe from my tiktok that I made a few months ago because I can't even remember how to do it For the ingredients, you need almond milk, rolled oats, an egg, baking powder. I've never cooked it with brown sugar, but I wanted to try making more of a fall one. So I bought this and then I'm gonna do vanilla extract, cinnamon, banana. It would be better if this was a little bit more ripe. You would wanna use the most ripe banana you have. And then I'm gonna do pear in it, but you could also do any frozen fruit. I just thought that pear or even apple would be good for like fall. Just baked it on 400 for 40 minutes and it looks so good you can kind of bake it however long you want depending on if you want it to be more soft or hard on the inside but I think 40 minutes is a good amount of time hot I think I just burned my mouth but it's so good I love the pear in it it is so yummy also, I think the brown sugar was a good touch. I have been getting a lot of work done today. I was supposed to go to my lash appointment at 1, but she ended up rescheduling it to next week because she, I don't know, she had something. So 
I moved that but I did have a meeting earlier and then I've just been editing I'm honestly kind of glad that my lash appointment got canceled because it's been nice for me to have some time to just sit and work and also just kind of lay low today because of my toe but I've been working in my office lately and I haven't given you guys the updates on this room for a while because it's just a work in progress and it's still not done but I figured I would just show you what's happening so I did move the desk over a little bit and it's not going to be staying like this but the reason I moved it is because I do like having this mirror right here so I can take pictures for my thumbnails or just outfit photos and this is my outfit today actually I put on this tank from Lulu's and then these sweats are from Twin Flames and I just have my slippers on so casual outfit for the day but this chair is not my desk chair it's actually been really comfy and I do like it right here so that I can sit but it's not going to be staying here it's for the corner and I'm getting a little side table for next to it so I still need to order a different chair to go right here. I also have been ordering stuff slowly because furniture is really expensive and then when you do send it back, if you pick the wrong thing, it's expensive to return, which is one thing that I'm dealing with right now because I ordered a rug and I got this from Rugs USA and we can open it and see or i'll show you guys what it looks like i think it's really pretty but the problem is if you can see this rug is really big i just wasn't thinking and i ordered an 8 by 10 because in my head a standard size rug is usually that size and this room is only a little bit bigger than the rug so the rug is going to take up basically the entire floor in here and I just was like oh my gosh shoot because I got the rug in the mail and in order to send it back I would have to drive it to FedEx or whatever and also pay $80 to send it back so I might as well just keep it see if it works in here and then if not I could do it in my living room and switch that rug out or I could put it in my bedroom. It is literally going to be the size of the entire floor. Well actually, there's going to be a little bit on each side. Sorry, there's like kids screaming outside of my apartment right now. This rug was on Arvin Olano's YouTube video on his like top 10 rugs. So I picked this because of him because I love all of his interior design tips and his style is just so good. I obviously can't unroll it all the way, but I wanted you guys to see how much it covers the floor. So it would almost touch that wall and then almost go to the end of this wall and then there's like a foot on each side it's not centered right now i really like how it is checkered but still neutral so i do want to keep this rug but i could either leave it in here this size or put it in my bedroom or my living room but i'm not going to return it or exchange it for another size so you guys will have to comment and let me know what you think I should do because if I get another rug that's smaller in here, I probably should have gotten a 5 by 8 Then I would just pick a different colored rug. You guys will have to just tell me because I'm really torn and not sure. 
outside. Just been getting some editing done and I've been eating these Smart Sweet candies. This is one of my favorites, the peach rings. And then I also love the watermelon ones. All of their sour candy is my favorite. And there's only three grams of sugar per bag. I have been in my apartment all day today. So it's kind of a weird day for me. I just kind of feel thrown off of my routine because I couldn't go work out. And I just... I don't know, I've been feeling a little bit down about my toe. I'm trying to stay positive, obviously, about it. But the only movement I really did today was, like, unroll my rug. <laughs> so I've barely done anything. I've been elevating it and sitting and getting stuff done on the computer, which I am happy to do all that, all of that. But it's also difficult to not really go do much. Okay, that's good. Yeah. The other day you were like, I'm not even 1% better. <laughs> that was like two days ago. It was bad. Yeah. I just had to meet him because he dropped off the Corvette to get worked on. But I guess it's only going to take an hour now. So we're just going to go to Starbucks and wait. An hour wait. Or two. Like we should go eat if you want to eat. Yeah, I've been eating today. So I'm going to do that instead because we'll have more time. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I want. You want it vegan free? Yeah, somewhere vegan free. I said, wow. <laughs> that is not funny. what I meant to say. <laughs> farmer boys? What about farmer boys? What's that? I'm going to look it up because I feel like your recommendations are always my favorite. Egg works. No. What? We always go there. What, what's in it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna look. You look. Six dollars? Yep. Oh my god. Starbucks is so expensive now. Oh, yeah, because you got cinnamon, half almond milk, half oat milk, half goat milk. <laughs> Cold brew. No, I didn't. I just really wanted to. Sprinkle a little bit of gold. <laughs> Why? I'm can't, showing them my drink. I can't yawn? Careful. Okay, so I got a grande ice latte, half oat milk, half almond milk, with almond milk foam and cinnamon powder on top. Our breakfast was good. And my face is getting worse by the second. It's peeling so bad. It's not that so, bad yet. It's getting worse. It is getting worse since I saw you. For sure. We have an airplane coming in. Really? Show them. We just pulled into this parking lot so we can watch the planes land. Watch. Here it comes. And it's touched up. It's so cool. And you can see the strip from here, kind of. Yeah. We're in Henderson right now, though. In case you're wondering. Are we? Yeah, we are. Is this in Henderson? Yeah. Okay, we're probably Tell small. them what you call planes. Airplanes. No. What do you call them? School buses in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like a giant, giant bus. It's just like floating in the air. It makes zero sense to me. <laughs> It's bigger than a bus. Yeah. I don't understand physics, man. It's crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite airline? Alaska. What? Why? I just think it's nice. Oh, well, you flown on before? A bunch. Or Delta. I like Delta. I'm more of a spirit guy. No, you are not. <laughs> Southwest coming in hot. I actually don't like Southwest. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. 
I hate the seat selection. Well, every, their planes, every time I get in, are old. Delta's always, and American's always nice and new. Yeah, well, American we've had issues with. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I've just been at home for, this does not want to light, the last couple of hours, and I wanted to show you guys. Look what my mom sent. These are so pretty. There's a little note that went with, that went with it. She wrote, my favorite flower is a sunflower. Not only do they make me smile, but they brighten my day. I just wanted to give you a little of my sunshine today and an extra smile. I love you, baby mama, which is so cute of her. I called her and she said that she feels bad about my toe. <laughs> so that was really nice, but this is where I have been. I... I've been trying to elevate my foot. I've been icing it. And I'm also in hiding because look at my skin. It's like peeling off onto my lip. And now I'm at that point where I'm like, I do not want to show my face on camera or in, pub or in public or anywhere. I'm just about to start making a penne olive vodka pasta. And I saw this recipe from Rachel Goodeats. So I got everything for the pasta sauce and the meatballs. I have all of it prepped right here for the meatballs. And I definitely recommend cutting everything and measuring it all out before you start cooking when there's a lot of ingredients. Because then you don't get confused and it just makes it easier. And then for the sauce, I have this all out right here. And you need diced tomatoes. I got the fire roasted ones. And then some white onion, cashews, which I've had soaked in water for like 10 minutes. And then basil, garlic. These are Calabrian peppers. And you can do however much you want depending on how spicy you want it to be. And then some lemon and you'll start making it on the stove and then you'll end up blending it and then for the pasta noodles i'm going to use this jovial gluten-free penne we're just starting with two tablespoons of avocado oil fourth a cup of red onion tablespoon of minced garlic two tablespoons of basil but i am just gonna do one and then i'm just doing half a teaspoon of jalapeno a little bit of salt red chili flakes and some black pepper now you have to just mix it all together and roll it into one inch sized balls. So I'm gonna do that and it'd probably be better if I had gloves, but I don't have any, so. of olive oil. Now I'm just going to add the meatballs. Making this was definitely a commitment, but I have to say it's a work of art and I already tried a bite of the pasta with the sauce and this is by far one of my favorite recipes I've ever made. The sauce has a really good spicy kick to it. 
I put some more of the cream on my face, but it has been feeling super itchy and I'm trying so hard not to pick at it. I know it's going to be really difficult for me because I'm such a picker. But I got my pasta and I need to get a new fall candle for down here soon because I've been burning this one a lot and I just want to get some more fall scents. But I'm going to watch Bachelor in Paradise. I missed a couple episodes this week and I watched episode 4 yesterday. So tonight I'm going to watch episode 5. I'm just finishing up cleaning the kitchen. I wiped the counters, the stove, and I put the leftovers in Tupperware. But I have all of these dishes that I also washed and have to dry still. I was just going to say that if you do make this dinner, it's definitely worth it. But you have to do it on a night when you have a lot of free time. Because it took me a while to cook and then clean. I just grabbed my book and I got myself a glass of water, but I'm gonna read a little bit this morning I look like a lizard today. I woke up and my skin has gotten even worse but I knew that Saturday and Sunday were gonna be the days that I peel the most but look how bad it is it's like fully coming off and now it's starting to on my forehead a little bit and like the side of my eyes so <laughs> it's bad i know that i'm going to be really happy that i did this treatment because all new skin is going to come and it's going to be super glowy and just like look really good she said when you start peeling this much when you wash your face you basically just pat your skin and it feels like you're not even washing it but you are because you can't pick any of the skin off i just made a quick breakfast just my usual but i did a ton of blueberries on it and it looks super good i just got ready so i wanted to show you guys a quick outfit of the day super casual i have my new york cap on to cover the face as best as i can and then white tank is from brandy these are the a goldie jeans and then i have my air forces on we're going to a new starbucks today when did this one open Today I got iced coffee with oat milk and then almond milk foam with cinnamon powder. Mm -hmm. 